Did you know that the eye is one of the most complex organs in the human body, second only to the brain? Each of your eyes is incredibly complex and is made up of more than two million working parts. Studying the intricacies of the human eye would take a lifetime. But today, we will examine a few parts of this amazing organ. Let's begin with the parts of the eye we see from the outside. In the very center of the front of the eye is a black circular area called the pupil. The pupil is actually an opening that allows light to pass straight through to the back of the eye. Around the pupil is a colored area, the iris. If someone asks what color your eyes are, they're really asking about the color of your iris. The color of your iris is determined by genetics, and about 80% of people worldwide have brown eyes. To understand more about the pupil and iris, take a look at this painting by Frederick Edwin Church, called El Rio de Luz, or The River of Light. Imagine you are in this painting, among the light and the shadows. First, you notice the sun and its reflection in the water. They both give off very bright light. Your iris responds to intense light by making the pupil smaller or constricting it. Now, move your attention to the bottom left corner of the painting, where all the foliage is. It's much darker here in the shadows, and details are hard to see. When the light is dim, your iris will cause the pupil to expand, which allows more light into your eye so you can see more clearly. If you were to walk through a dark forest like this, then emerge into bright sunlight, your eyes would adjust very quickly to that change in light. So, what actually happens when light enters your eye? First, it passes through the cornea, this is the clear domed surface that covers the visible part of the eye. The cornea helps control how much light enters the eye and helps the eye to focus that light. The light then passes through the pupil, which can further regulate the amount of light by changing its size. You can easily observe this process happening in your own eyes. Once the light passes through the pupil, it encounters the lens. Just like a camera lens, the lens in your eye focuses those rays of light. As the light is focused, it continues on its journey to the back of your eyeball. On the back wall of your eye is a layer of nerves called the retina. The retina senses light with special cells called photoreceptors. There are two types of photoreceptors, rods and cones. Rods are responsible for helping you see in low light, but they do not help you see in color. This is why, at night, everything appears in shades of gray. Cones, on the other hand, are responsible for vision in higher levels of light. They are capable of color vision and separate what they see into different color categories, green, red, and blue. Look at this illustration from a manuscript created in India. The illustration depicts Jesus raising Jairus' daughter from the dead. Notice the brilliant watercolor paints and ink colors that were used in this manuscript. How many different shades and combinations of red, green, and blue can you find? The human eye can detect more than 10 million color hues. Isn't it remarkable that tiny cells in the back of your eye allow you to identify all those colors? In addition, the retina is also responsible for creating impulses that are sent to the brain. Those impulses travel along a collection of nerve fibers known as the optic nerve. Information about light, 
darkness and color is conveyed to the brain's visual cortex. That information is assembled into images. Because light bends as it enters the eye, the retina receives the image upside down. The brain turns it right side up, so your vision reflects what you've actually seen. The human eye is a complex organ with astounding abilities. The eyes can process up to 36,000 pieces of information each hour and up to 24 million images during a lifetime. Working in harmony with the other body systems, our eyes give us a window to the world around us.